but let's not waste much time. Let's get straight into it, all right? We're going to get straight into SmackDown right off the bat. Uh, just a reminder also, before we start, that we are on our way to 500 subscribers. We're on the march to 500. I got a graphic for this. The countdown to 500. We're about 158 oh, subscribers man. away, so... We need we 158 to souls to get on board with the Alapert <laughs> Smart Podcast. It doesn't really cost you anything. We're free. We don't know commercials. Not like Cornette where you got to listen to him talk about Magic Spoon for 10 minutes. I'm like nothing here. We're just going to jump straight into the wrestling That's talk. That's a good point. Smackdown. What was it this past Friday? The 13th, right? Friday the 13th it was. It was That's Solo right, Sokoa. Two days ago as we're recording right now, we're recording this on a Sunday night. This will probably come out tomorrow morning, Monday morning. But this is the 15th right now, but we're going back to the 13th, Friday night. It was Solo and Cody in a steel cage, right? Solo's been asking for this match because Roman ruined his match at SummerSlam and his return. And he says that he would have won if it wasn't for Roman. So here he is coming in. Let's go over, sum summarize it first, then we'll get our reviews from Vlad and Robert and myself. So we'll, anybody want to jump in with any comments? During the summary, of course, you are free to. Please do. I would like any comments that pop into your mind. But here's Cody, Cody's entrance. And it was this was right off the bat to start the show, which I thought was a little strange at first, but it seemed to make sense as the show went along. So it wasn't right. AEW style where they just had this and that no. was it. There was more to the story after the match. But here's Charles Robinson. Little Nate. Little Nate. You can't have the same idea. Little Nate. <laughs> Still going after all these Still years. Still going strong, man, yeah. But yeah, all right, well, here's the, the beginning of the match. I'll play the beginning of it just because I liked how it, how it happened, the exchange. I'll go to watch a long mode because they don't let us play these type of things here on the in, on uh, YouTube, so the Smash Mouth style just the opening the sequence. So much Here's Solo WWE selling, pushing him away, oh, pushing oh, Cody oh, away. Get you. Smash Cody and get Whoa, him. nice punch from Solo, Solo, ducked by Cody. Power punch, man. I don't know. I thought it started off hot, but let's let's move back to picture mode. That's all I wanted to play. I really like that opening sequence, but you guys can zoom in and watch that in the corner if you want, or find the original tape. But let's move along. This was a steel cage match, so. Escape the Cage was in play, right, Vlad? Yes, sir. And, oh, I wanted to play this part because Solo hit a move on Cody right here. It was a, uh, what is what is this called, Vlad? It's like it's sort of like a choke slam, but he... Uh, uh, Uranagi. Uranagi. Thank you, Robert. Good one, Robert. Okay, so he Uranagi's him. And I was like, well, at this point, why doesn't he just run out the cage you know what i mean like he he attempts a pinfall but i guess he could just open the door and run out i never liked these cage matches where you could open the door hey, and I'm run looking. out so anyways here's another one where he hits cody with the uh what is that called the hip attack or what do they call it in samoan but <laughs> i don't know what it's called the samoan hip attack. <laughs> i don't i know i don't know why i don't know what it's called i know what tony storm calls it Flash. yeah but, so yeah. He, he hits cody on the corner here but cody's right next to the door you see so he asks the referee to open the door and he almost escapes here and then solo has to drag him in so this door thing i don't think there should be a door when they have these steel cage matches it should be doorless they should drop the cage down on them and then they got to climb out. Climbing out is okay to me, but the door is stupid when they're trying to crawl yeah. out. But, I agree. All right. Well, anyways, here's a high spot. Here's Cody uh, jumping off the cage. Uh, not as good as when he moonsaulted off the cage in AEW, but okay. Mm -hmm. Here's him trying to leave the cage, and Solo slams the door on him. And I think this is like the end of the match, basically. Yeah, this is the end of the match. So Solo slams the door on him as Cody tries to escape, and... Solo goes for a Samoan spike, but he misses wildly. And then Cody counters with the crossroads and a one, two, three, and that's it. Thanks for coming, Solo Sokoa. Fucking clean victory for Cody Rhodes. No interference from the bloodline at yeah. all. Okay, so mm. that's basically the angle. I'm, I'm splitting this story today on smackdown into two angles which is my discretion because this is my podcast and i'm the producer so i'm i split it into two yes. angles first the match and then the after match and the story afterwards of, of them setting up whatever they set up which we'll get to in a minute but i just want to talk about the match first so i'm getting reviews from you guys on the match i'll start with 
Vlad. Let's see what Vlad's review was. I got a video right here. Vlad's review. Vlad's review is... Oh, wait, that's Robert. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, that's not me. Here's Vlad. Okay, so Vlad oh, gave God. it a no. thumbs up. <laughs> oh, that, that's the image of me? Oh, God. All right. I look, I look like I, I... It looks like I just woke up. <laughs> no, it looks it looks like a cool that's an AI version of you. I ran that through an AI. It's like... Yeah, so the AI version of me is stoned all the time. <laughs> okay, got it. Uh, anyway, oh, hold, hold on. I got I gotta put a minute oh, yeah, and a half. I'll, on I'll, the give, clock I'll give that a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, Vlad. I got a minute and a half, whatever you got to think about solo getting buried here and losing clean to Cody before uh, we move on well, to the rest of the story. Buried I don't think it's the right term here. He lost to one of the most popular and prominent wrestlers in the roster. But I did expect, or at the very least I thought, that there would be some interference in this in the match, only because, like, the cage opening thing, it seemed like a, it, it was a setup for it. I thought, why even have that in a cage match if you're not going to have the bloodline interfere? Uh, but overall, I mean, the match was good. I mean, if you take a look past that, which I guess... It's probably one of the reasons it's not really like a fire match or a two thumbs up match. It was just one thumbs up. It was the work was good. The stuff they did was, you know, very respectable. Cody's a very good worker, and I think, I think Solo is one of the better, uh, like workers as far as like the Samoans that I've seen in a while. Like he's just very good. You know, his work looks really, really clean, and. Uh, you know, I have no issues with it, whatever, with the match itself. I thought they put on a really good show. But, um, you know, I just had some a little bit more expectations on what I thought I would see. It doesn't mean what they did ended up was bad or good, you know, or, you know, that I was right or they were wrong, whatever. It just, that's what I thought would happen. And the match seemed to set up that with the cage door opening and, and whatnot. But mm. overall, yeah, the match was fine. It was good. Very good. All right, before I move on to Robert, I forgot to introduce before we told you your review or told the people your review, this is our rating system. I have a little graphic now that tells the people how we rate our matches. Well, our, not our matches. We rate angles. And we're not really rating it based on whether we think it's good or not. We're not experts. It's just based on whether we like it. So Vlad liked that. He gave it a plus one. Liked it, just one thumbs up, a regular thumbs up. It's a good rating for us on our system. So, okay, Robert also, let me pull up his graphic here. I got, and Robert gave it also a thumbs up. So the same rating is flat. Okay. All right, Robert. At least Robert, Robert you... looks normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He looks like Robert for the most part. That's, that's his picture cool. in all of our thumbnails. I can't believe you guys are... I haven't noticed that yet, but okay. All right, Robert. Well, you got a minute and a half. You got any comments on Solo losing clean in this match? I did expect him to lose, uh, but I also expected some, at least an attempt of an interference uh, one way or another from the bloodline, even though it's a steel cage match. So for them to not even appear at all, that, that that's what really surprised me the most, Not not necessarily the clean victory uh, also uh, i also want to agree with uh, what vlad mentioned earlier about you know solo doing um his work being good i actually think he's a lot more interesting than both of his older brothers jimmy and yeah. jay and yeah. not not just his in-ring work i i like his promo style better than uh, Jimmy and Jay. I, I kind of cringe whenever I hear Jimmy or Jay do promos, honestly. But solo, I, I can yeah. I can listen to solo's um, promos, and yeah, I, I think he sur surpassed both of, both of his brothers, both in and out of the ring. Uh, but yeah, this was this was a good match. Uh, I'm not not really surprised that solo lost clean, but I was expecting some some at least a, an attempted interference. So. That, that's the only thing that surprised me about this. All right, well. Can I, can I just say something real quick? I just yeah, yeah, Vlad, go ahead, go yeah. ahead. So after the match, I mean, I'm not going to go, I know we're about to discuss what happened after the match, but, like, they did come out, the bloodline, and they climbed the cage literally in 10 seconds. So why couldn't they do that during <laughs> the match? <laughs> they literally were there in a, in a blink of right. an eye. So that part kind of... Uh, 
through me as well. Like, dude, what? You guys just did that in like 10 seconds. So maybe there should have been like, a, there should have been some sort of stipulation maybe like that said like, okay, if they interfere, then like automatically like he's disqualified, even though it's like whatever, like you can't interfere, no interference whatsoever. Or maybe make it hell in a cell where you can't come. Yeah, they, they were, uh, they, they were, they were busy in NXT earlier in the week. So they barely had time to make it to the arena to try to get inside the, the cage. Yeah. So they just, had, they point, just made though. it right when it was oh. over, so, right? Like literally right when it ended. Excuse anyway, me, that's totally- Robert. That's a that's a good point. That's actually the first logical explanation <laughs> of maybe why they, they, their their <laughs> flight was, was late kidding, coming okay. from NXT uh, Tuesday three days earlier, and this was Friday, so they had a hard time making it back. But okay, oh, I guess I'll- it takes three days to, to fly out of a place now. <laughs> well, well, all right, I'm gonna give my rating for this match. Here's yeah. Tehan's rating. I can't wait for this. Kahan's rating is a really? this made me sick. The first ever this literally what? made me feel nah, sick to on, my dude. stomach rating <laughs> on the Malapurt Smart. AW all in and all out, and he never had one of those. This he dude watching this. Oh watching solo here, bro. Hold on, let me just tell the people by the way. Let me oh, pull right. up our our rating system. This is the lowest rating we have. I, I wish we had something lower than this. To, to, like, this takes off five points off my SmackDown rating, by the way. It's minus five for made me sick. Like literally watching Solo take that pinfall clean. I got this literal sick feeling in my stomach. Like I have never been so sad for such a burial. I think Solo is great. What the hell? To lose clean, I'll say it. You guys are all cool with it. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Solo is cool as hell. This car- this totally ruined the angle after it. Why the fuck should I care? I'll jump ahead. But why the fuck should I care now that Solo is challenging Roman and Cody to a tag team match after he just got buried like he sucks now? It's over for oh. Solo. Fuck this shit, man. I fucking hated this, honestly. I'm so mad at this. This was the worst possible way they could have ended this match. What is it so hard to let those guys jump in and then let I Roman agree. come in and, you know, <laughs> thwart them? And it would have been cra- It was a clean loss for Solo. Ah, okay, yeah. whatever. I don't, think right. it, I don't think it's as bad as Keon is making out to be, but I agree that they could have given him a couple ways out, you know. But, you know, yes. Yes, that part's true, but well, this, I wouldn't this, put it. Well, I wouldn't have put it as the worst segment in the history of like so far segments that we've reviewed. Yes, okay, <laughs> so I think it plays into the the angle that happens later, where Cody said he was done with the bloodline. Right, he yeah. said he wanted nothing to do with them yeah, anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, so why is he gonna be? Well, we could go over that. Okay. That doesn't make sense to me either. Why he even took this match? But all right.